Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corvette. I'm a New Yorker. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us to account, subscribe to the like button, and thank you if you're already supporting us on Patreon. Uh, you beautiful. Patreon. There's one good thing about New Jersey. Hmm. I have a really beautiful friend, Michael Pomerico, who lives there, and it's where The Sopranos comes from. But other than that, I've never been. Uh, today, what are we doing, Rick? We. We're going to do something we've never done before on the channel. Oh, wow. We are going to show signs of intelligence. No. I mean, we need to be on brand. Okay. So. <laughs> Today we got a video. This is uh, <laughs> Sasha and Tenduker's tour. Uh, my secret 3 a.m. ritual for matches. Uh, so Ooh. This is a... Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, Sachin takes uh, this person on a personal tour guide of the destinations that had a profound impact on him. Uh, I'm, I want to know what his secret 3 a.m. ritual before matches. Masturbation. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but Just that, like I Wolf of Wall Street, twice a day. I mean, just got it at those, least twice a day. Those are rookie numbers. Well, those are, those are, uh, before lunch should happen. Here we go. Oh. My dream was to play for India and I would come here while drinking water, I would always uh, look at the idol and pray. So I continued doing this throughout my career till the last game of my life. You're still alive, man. This is the colony that I grew up in. Between these two buildings, we had to hit the ball to the main gate to score a boundary or a six. If the ball hit over the first floor, uh -huh. you were out. And these were the window panes there. We managed to get the ball there and uh, damage quite a few window panes. Do, do you remember different <laughs> windows you broke? Yes. So and that's why all the windows now have one. cages over them. That. Sick of all the what a great it's story. cricket days. destroying windows. Um, so Sachin, when I he was a kid, broke my window. Come down to this playground and spend hours on end. And this is where I live on the fourth floor. My food, snacks, everything would come down. Uh, uh, because you weren't going up. I wouldn't go up. I was not interested in eating. Just wanted to play. Yeah. Play as much as possible. I understand you guys would pull pranks on uh, one another as well around here, right? All the time we would be doing that. Uh, we, me and my friends, uh, and we were notorious kids so we would uh, sometimes flatten the tires and all those kind of things which i shouldn't be saying on camera but i was uh, what a what a great picture really really naughty this is the spot where i spent four years in my school days uh, my uncle and my aunt stay here so this is that place where i would bat and uh, my, I would make my aunt sit there on a stool and I had actually a golf ball which was slightly out of shape. It was almost like an egg and I would play with soft hands so that the, I did not damage the house. The other thing that I also did was, uh, this is a, there is a cricket ball inside. Right. This is a normal sock. I would put a cricket ball inside and literally here on the ceiling, I would hang the ball like this. Uh -huh. And uh, and keep practicing. So I would do that hours on end, comfortably five, six hundred times a day. I, I could be, let's say, filming an episode with Tom Hanks as example, and you would get a hello, uh, you know, maybe some looks, but people would generally let us kind of do our thing. It's very different here with celebrity uh, of your stature. Um, how would you explain that? <laughs> it's different. I mean, I think it, the warmth of Indian people... Uh, and the emotion. I've, I've always felt that and I, I value that, you know. There is not much privacy, but, you know, it's a, it's a package deal. Yeah. That... Uh, 
I wouldn't want to settle for anything else. So, you know. In 12th um, grade, so, you had cops outside of your uh, classroom when you're taking your exam. I was. Right. <laughs> I mean, you, you've had it. Yes, but by then I had already played for India. Right. I played for India after my 10th grade. So my life had changed. It wow. It wasn't a normal 16 year old boy. You know? Seriously, he was already playing for India at 16. Much That's crazy. Much faster than what a normal 16 year old right. would. My. I do find it crazy oh, that the oh, host is not driving. Two phones. Yeah. <laughs> One is for music. I'm listening to music, I'm in He probably just deferred to whatever he wanted to do. A phone call or a message deep like this. That's how he is, though. I, I He's the guest. Kept one phone only for music. Okay. <laughs> that, that's when you know you really like your music. I, I love my music. So, this is Shivaji Park. I spent five years of my life here. Uh, from Do they know he's coming? To <laughs> oh, God. Could you imagine? It's a coincidence that, you know, today in 1989, 32 years ago, was my debut. So it's a coincidence that we are on the same very day we are here, where I played the first ball of wow with a season ball. So I had to bat in all these nets. In the last net, my coach used to keep a rupee coin on top of the stump. Right. And you see the number of uh, children here practicing. You can see at least 200 fielders. Anyone caught the ball, I was out. There was no discussion on that. So. Uh, there were a few coins that I lost, but more that I won. What is it about those coins that are so personally significant yeah, to you mean, because you've kept them? It was like a medal for me. During a practice session, our coach would allow us to have a glass of water just once. Oh, God. It was three hours to, to build stamina. The choice was ours yep. at the beginning of the practice. The we were, of the practice or civilization was very dumb back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> One water That's how football coaches used to be. So yeah. You need water, you're a pansy. Yeah. No, we're and human. This is where the tap was. People need water. So I would be drinking water from this tap. And uh, there was this uh, feeling within me that, you know, that belief was there that this water energized me. It had some power you know, to help me achieve my dream. My dream was to play for India. And I would come here. While drinking water, I would always uh, look at the idol and pray. I continued doing this throughout my career till the last game of my life, which was in 2013. Sometimes, uh, you know, odd hours like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., when nobody was there and I could actually come here and offer my prayers in, in peace. Mm. I would do this uh, before every tour of mine, every international game. I would come here before I left home. So. And became a ritual. Once the practice session was over, the tiring day was over, this is where we would kind of sit together and fool around. Pockets were not deep at all, so we would kind of share everything that we got. What got you so into food? Because I, I know you're pretty uh, passionate about it. My mother was a very good cook. So whenever I was traveling with my friends, I would take recipes from her and then I would kind of register those things. Those days, those were the days where no mobiles were around, so you had to keep everything in this computer. What are your go-to dishes? Mm, I would say uh, my bengan bhartha, which is okay. uh, And what about if uh, Anjali is cooking? Anjali? No, Anjali doesn't cook. No? She eats. <laughs> <laughs> So you're the cook in the house? I'm, I'm the cook in the house. Uh, Anjali, uh, she's not too fond of cooking. Hmm. What a great video. Yeah. It was really interesting to see more about him. Um, yeah. Okay. It's so funny because it was such a universal thing. Like back in probably your your day, honestly. Um, it was slightly, I guess, when I was a kid, but it kind of changed around my generation time. Just coaches just didn't want you to drink water. Because they yeah. thought, it, like, if you needed water, you were weak. No, you got water when practice was over. <laughs> and that's one. Yeah. So bad for you as an athlete. <laughs> no, I remember, <laughs> I can tell you every time, whether it was, whether it was high school ball, college ball, playing softball with guys on Saturday morning with my dad and Rich, or just going and doing stickball with my dad. We always had gum. We always had sunflower seeds. We never had anything to drink never had anything to drink. We would get something to drink when we were done. 
It's crazy because it's so bad for your body. I to, know. To not now have... people hydrate all the time because I mean, this you, was you, there's science behind it. This was pre Gatorade days. Yeah. So so truly, if you got thirsty while you're playing, you just look around and see if there's a, a drinking fountain somewhere. Go take a sip of the drinking fountain. Then but then people back. would make fun of you. Oh, you need water. Yeah, it really was. It was. Oh, you thirsty. <laughs> Which is so stupid. It is. Yes, I'm yes. Like, I'm human. a human being. Oh, oh you, you need to breathe. Oh, you need food. You need oh, you something. To, oh, you need to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb as a society for really so is. long. I swear. I hope there's a ton of stupid babies that maybe never saw this before. That w- I would love that, that. And if that's the case, also go over to uh, Graham's channel and see anything else that is on that channel as well. Yeah. I, uh, I'm Such surprised a nice... he was able to talk with all those cricketers around. I Maybe know. They, they were all told he was coming. Or, or they had away. just a big entourage around him protecting him from telling people, please back away while we're, we're working right now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Have Soch and just show up while you're playing cricket. It was a really nice, I love the personal aspect of it. It really yeah. felt like we were just getting to see these to on a really, you know, there was no one there on the street, That's what, in the car. That's what the greats do as well. Like any of like, um, my brother, uh, my brother, brother and cousin played soccer longer than i did my youngest brother and i hear about like the the great soccer players or the great best like they always had a ball with them yeah like they, it's, they would uh, they carry the them. the ball around with them in the house and my cousin especially he was great at it he would never let the ball touch the ground some days mm. he, said he would just he would juggle it all day long wow. <laughs> It was actually insane uh, how how talented they were, um, but like that's what just Michael Jordan probably you know just oh yeah free throw all day long after free throw after you know not banking his high school team. <laughs> no, and there's people who do things. I remember because I wanted to get better at catching fly balls. I would have my dad. I'll give you some fly on balls. The, uh, he would because we live by a golf course. I'd have him or I'd have Rich. Um, they would tee off with the golf ball. I'll tee off on. And you. I figured if if I can. If I can track and follow a little golf ball twice as far as a baseball, that'll be good tracking a tracking a baseball. And sleeping with a baseball glove is a standard thing. Just having the smell of the baseball glove right with you. But you ever tracked a falcon on a cloudy day? In that movie. He could track a falcon on a cloudy day, he can find you. Night's tail. Nope. No? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, Neither do you. No, he... Um, Humperdinck? Really? Princess Did, Bride? Yes. He can track a falcon on a cloudy day? Mm-hmm. It's Who what, says it? Uh, Buttercup. When uh, Wesley is still in the mask. And he, she thinks he's captured her, and oh, uh, Humperdinck is trying to okay. come, and so she's trying to intimidate him. He, says, he can yeah, track a falcon on a cloudy, cloudy day. day. He can find That's you. That's a random line. That's not a more common line from Princess Bride. Every line from Princess Bride is iconic. No, there's some that are far more iconic. No. That, yes. No. Uh, the Cliffs of Insanity. It's probably one of the most quotable movies of Anybody all time. Anybody want a peanut? It's one of the most quotable movies of all time. If you've never seen The Princess Bride, do yourself a favor. I would love to actually see somebody that didn't grow up with it, like because obviously nostalgia plays a big part. A lot of people oh, saw yeah. when they were real young. But R-U-S's. Man. Yeah, R-U-S's. Rodents of Unusual Size? I don't think they exist. Such a great... Anyways, uh, fantastic video. You've heard uh, of Socrates? <laughs> Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Morons. Morons. <laughs> <laughs> you really are that smart. Anyways. <laughs> Let, I could quote that entire movie. Uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just-